Sierra Nevada of Santa Marta, Colombia, a mountainous region rising from desert beaches to a peak of 19,000 feet, the highest coastal mountain range in the world. Its ecology is unique. It contains virtually every type of terrain found on the planet. Rare animal and plant life flourish here. Many species are found nowhere else on Earth. For Juan Meyer, the Sierra Nevada is a paradise, and he has dedicated himself to protecting it. But the Sierra Nevada is also a place of violent conflicts and territorial land grabs that threaten the survival of Indian cultures like the Kogi, an indigenous tribe that has lived for thousands of years in these mountains. The Sierra Nevada is not only a natural heritage, it's also a philosophical heritage because we have one of the most wonderful indigenous cultures who are living right now here with a very few contact with the society. The Kogi are descendants of the Tyrona people, whose ancient stone cities lie deep in the mountain jungles. The Spanish conquest all but destroyed their civilization 500 years ago. But a small number of them escaped into the higher mountains. A deeply spiritual people, the Kogi consider themselves mankind's older brother. In the village called San Miguel, life exists as it might have 1,000 years ago. They are self-efficient people. So they know very well the whole uh, uh, biodiversity that they have here, and they use it for a long period of time. So it's a way to live in harmony with the, their environment because they don't need nothing of the outside world. Meyer believes that the future well-being of the region is tied to the fate of the Kogi because of their successful legacy of environmental management in the Sierra Nevada. Yet, their survival in turn depends on the rest of us. Hundreds of miles away in Colombia's capital of Bogota, Meyer's foundation has developed an integrated approach to the problems of the Sierra Nevada. It has established projects to teach the peasants who have migrated to the area conservation methods based on Kogi experience. From agriculture to the design and materials used in building their communities, Meyer is trying to prevent another ecological disaster like the one caused by the drug trade. In the 1970s, Marijuana harvesting destroyed 50% of the Sierra's forest. Indian tribes like the Kogi are caught between the farmers, drug lords, and guerrilla groups at war with the Colombian government. One guerrilla faction recently took control of this community project run by Myers Foundation. The guerrillas have also threatened his life, accusing him of being a front for other paramilitary groups. But Juan, like the Kogi, is philosophical. You die the day that you have to die, not one minute before. Yes? So let the, the things go and work very hard. It's very rich when you have all this complexity of human behavior to make analysis, to look for solutions. It's really rich. I, I love my work. I love really my work. No, that's why I'm here. For outstanding environmental achievement in South Central America, a 1993 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Juan Meyer of Bogota, Colombia.